Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com, the website where we talk about all things library marketing. It's my first episode in my home office and today I wanted to talk to you about conference experiences. On superlibrarymarketing.com, we just posted the list of the best conferences for library marketers in 2020. And today I wanted to give you some of my tips for having a great conference experience once you pick which conference you wanna to go to. So that's today's topic and let's dive into it. My first tip is pretty easy, which is once you have registered for a conference, it's really great to sign up for their email alerts and download their app. Even if it's months in advance of the conference, this is really your best way to stay on top of changes in the schedule, additions of speakers, um, hotel rates, if you wait a little bit to book your hotel, dinner outings, all those kinds of things. Making sure that you are a part of that line of communication is really important. I, on the same spectrum, connecting with the conference and the organizers on social media, whichever platform you are most comfortable with. There are usually Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, there's usually a Twitter, sometimes there's an Instagram, depending on the on the conference. So connecting with the conference on social media, again, helps you to meet people, make friends ahead of time so that when you get to the conference, you're not walking into a giant arena full of strangers. Some of these conferences are really big and walking into an exhibit hall where there are 4,000 other marketers are sitting and you don't know any of them can be really intimidating. So getting to know people on social media can really help your nerves in, those, in, the, in that instance. I like to pick my sessions in advance. Now I kind of have um, uh, an opinion about this, which is that once I get to the conference, I sometimes can be influenced to go to sessions that might not have anything to do with the work that I do or with my staff. And so I like to pick my sessions before I get there so that I know what I'm doing. It helps me to get in the right frame of mind and so that I'm not influenced to attend something that might not really be related to my job. I do give myself an out, which is that if I go to a session and in the first five minutes I find I don't like the speaker, I don't like the topic, it's not what I thought it was gonna be, I kind of have a second session in mind and I give myself permission to leave that session and go to the second session. Don't feel bad about leaving a session that's not working for you. You paid for that conference. You should get the experience that's best for you. Next step is to prepare. And what I mean by that is if you're going to a city that you've never been to before, you can always get on YouTube and watch some videos about how to get around the city. I like to arrive at the conference location on the night before the conference starts so I can kind of walk around, see where the rooms are, see how everything is set up so that I know exactly where I'm going and I don't feel like I'm wandering around like a lost lamb in the field. And then my final tip, this is really, really important. Take breaks during your conference day. Sometimes we have a tendency to jump from session to session to session. We get to the end of the day and we're exhausted. This is the mistake I made in my first conference that I went to Content Marketing World. I didn't take any breaks and I was completely wiped out by the end of the first day. And I don't think that's a great way to absorb information or to have a good conference experience. So take breaks if you need to like eat your lunch in your room or outside away from people, it's okay to do that. Um, just give yourself some space to kind of digest the information that you're getting at the conference. All right, if you have a suggestion for a topic for a future library marketing show episode, make sure you go to superlibrarymarketing.com, click on the library marketing show tab. You can also make suggestions for our kudos section. And today we're gonna give kudos to Libraries Ireland which released a video recently that touts all the great things going on in their library system. It gave me all the feels. You know I'm a sucker for great library marketing videos, and this is really one. There'll be a link to it in the show notes. You need to watch it. I just thought the diversity and um, the clarity of the message was great. Okay, so that's it for this episode of the Library Marketing Show. Again, get in touch with me at superlibrarymarketing.com. If you want to talk more about library marketing, my email address at Novelist is there, and I'll see you next week.